And here we are out on the awesome balcony we've got here, the comic, the convention center behind us, and Daniel Isaac from THQ next to me, here to talk about Warhammer 40K Space Marine. That's Daniel, right. welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. What do you much. think of this setup we got out here? It is all right. It, I, uh, <laughs> it is cool with me. It is cool. And very you, nice. You played it well with the sunglasses, man. I got to say, I've been, I've been missing that. All right, Warhammer 40K Space Marine. Uh, folks who don't know much about it, give them, give them the overview. What's the deal? Well, so if you don't know much about uh, our, our buddy Captain Titus of the Ultramarines, mm -hmm. um, they are the, the model, the template from which the other Space Marines were created. You might have heard of a few other Space Marines, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know, those other guys. Uh, and if you haven't heard of those guys, Space Marines are the, the archetype of a badass. It is, it is a seven foot five guy in ceramite, bright adorned ceramite armor, which basically means uh, for the uninitiated, that is pretty much indestructible. These guys, uh, they weigh a thousand pounds. They charge into battle relentlessly, destroying everything in front of them. And, a, you know, a calm day on the battlefield is them killing, like, thousands of orcs? Uh, thousands, give or take, ten thousand. So. Tens of thousands of orcs. That's these, about right. These are some heavy hitters, and now we're seeing them in action right now with the live demo you guys have playing here. And I see a big hammer. Let's talk about that thing. That is a thunder hammer. So uh, what we're doing right here, uh, showing you some stuff that we haven't really gotten to take a look at up until now. Mm -hmm. um, Captain Titus there is running through the single player campaign, taking on some orcs. Uh, th that's a knob that he's destroying. A knob one of the big, meaner, nastier orcs. When orcs got nothing better to do, they just fight each other. And uh, the orcs that have survived the most and, and crushed mo the most of their orc uh, companions, those are the ones that survived to go on and be a knob, which is uh, a pretty tough guy uh, for, for anybody but Captain Titus, uh, that'd be a, a bit of a challenge. But Captain Titus here, he's dropping right into the battlefield with his jump pack and he's crushing down with his thunder hammer. So we wanted to do more than just have, uh, there's plenty of forward momentum, plenty of gunplay, plenty of uh, plenty of traversing on foot, but what what's great about being a space marine is having a jump pack, really being able to explore the verticality of, of, uh, of some of these levels. So you can get to some areas that um, you wouldn't be able to typically get to on foot and uh, use a, a, a pretty unique arsenal to uh, crush guys like we're doing right now. Kind of allows you guys to be a little more creative with level design too because you have more freedom of movement to play around with. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and that certainly applies to multiplayer where you can equip a jump pack and um, we have different classes that you can play with, one of them being the Assault, where you get to have a jump pack. Uh, so other characters in the field, like a Devastator class, which might be a little more lumbering, a little slower, mm -hmm. and have a weapon like a Heavy Bolter uh, that has less mobility but devastating firepower, now has an interesting uh, paper, rock, scissors kind of gameplay with a class like the Assault who can ascend to you know all kinds of great heights and uh, get the drop on his enemies. Close the distance a little quicker. Exactly, get in and deal uh, uh, mostly melee damage. All right, so we're seeing single player here, but we're, you're talking about, what you're talking about is class-based multiplayer. Now, yeah. lay, out, lay out the details here. Competitive, how many players have we got in the, in the fray? Yeah, we've got 8v8 multiplayer uh, across a couple different game modes. We have good old Annihilation, which is uh, pretty much straight up team deathmatch. Yes, please. And we've got Seize Ground. That's our objective-based gameplay. Okay. Uh, and yeah, there are different classes. We have a tactical class, we have an assault class, and we have a devastator class. Mm -hmm. Devastators are your, uh, like I was saying, your heavy weapons classes. So really, the really crazy weapons of the Space Marine universe, like um, uh, plasma cannons, heavy bolters, and then your... Uh, so doing damage over maybe more of a ranged class, be able to deal damage, you know, not just up close and personal, but across the map. Yeah, and there's more of a risk reward with those classes. If you're firing a plasma cannon, you don't have uh, you don't have a huge clip. You're 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 firing long, uh, giant bursts that deal massive area of effect damage. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know you might not be able to. It's a more of a skill based class. And then you, yeah, you've got your your crazy assault class, which just drops in, deals fast melee damage. And then the tactical class is our other class, and that's sort of our jack of all trades. If you want to snipe or if you want to use uh, a, like a, a shorter shotgun type weapon. Uh, in this case, we have a melta gun, which just is uh, fires a concentrated blast of heat to basically melt your foe. Uh, that's the tactical class, you can go that route. Melta gun? Melta gun, yeah. Uh, I like the sound of that. Now, what I've, um, what's standing out to me here, I mean, aside from all the awesome carnage, is the like lovingly crafted shoulder plates. Like this dude's armor is something you guys you know, you talked about before, you said that 
word from the Warhammer universe that I do not know how to, I could not repeat for you, but. It might have been Ceramite. Ceramite, that's Ceramite. the one. Ceramite. Now, is there, are we seeing any, uh, you know, customization either in the, in the multiplayer or the single player that allows you to sort of tweak that a little bit? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. That's a, I mean, that's a huge part of the tabletop experience in Warhammer 40,000. So, of course, we want that experience intact for uh, the fans who, who get their hands on Space Marine. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the math. We got about 1.8 billion combinations that you can reach in our customizer. What? And our customizer lets you change everything from individual shoulder pads to uh, your helmet, to your boots, to uh, your breastplate, your jump pack. Uh, all of those items are fully customizable. Um, not, just, not just the colors, but the actual models, the embellishments, the, uh, the chapter markers that you put on your shoulders. These, there's a, a pretty robust uh, selection that you can get into. And there are some bonus options that you can get just from playing single player. Mm -hmm. That will unlock some, some interesting uh, customization options in multiplayer. That's a cool way to be true to those tabletop roots you were saying, because you know, for folks who have I'm undoubtedly you've heard the Warhammer name, but maybe you're not sure what it's all about. It, it was its origins were in that tabletop experience, or that's that's a huge part of it, right? And now, are you guys? So here at Comic Con, you know, you're you're here, you're showing off 40k Space Marine, and that's this is really cool. Uh, do you have any other Warhammer stuff going on here this this week? Um, not not so much. Uh, we we really just want to get Space Marine out right now and let people see what it's like. Uh, to be, you know, in the suit of armor, to feel what it's like to just crush, as we were saying, thousands and thousands of orcs. You know, uh -huh. that's something that we don't feel anybody's ever gotten the experience to do. Uh, Relic Studio, uh, they're well known for making their Warhammer 40,000 games, the Dawn of War line. Uh, but that was a, you know, those are real-time strategy games where you control entire armies. We really want people to focus right now on what it's like just to be one unstoppable, unassailable space marine. I like those words, unstoppable, unassailable. It just comes right out. I, just, I look at the man, and that's what comes to mind. And that, that is what he is embodying <laughs> as he crushes these pretty fiendish-looking orcs. Now, what, what's the motivation here? I mean, orcs, obviously, you know, they got a bad attitude. They like yeah. to fight a lot. They're just but, always causing trouble. But, you know, are they causing trouble on a galactic scale or something here? That's why we're sticking it to them? That's exactly what they're doing. So. Forge worlds in the Warhammer 40,000 universe are planets that exist to do nothing other than make titans, which are uh, giant city-sized robots, essentially, that can destroy planets. They have incredible weaponry. So the, on these forge worlds, in addition to that, uh, it's just giant manufacturing houses for weapons and uh, crazy devastating uh, machinery. The orcs, of course, decided, hey, we should probably go to this Forge World. We should probably get our hands on uh, some of this weaponry. That sounds like a good thing to have, a giant city-sized planet destroying monstrosity. Yeah, you know they're going to do nothing good with it. Uh, so it's up to Captain Titus and uh, his squad to to stop that. And some other stuff happens along the way. There's uh, There are chaos forces in the game as well. Uh -huh. Chaos Space Marines who are you know basically the, the embodiment of a Space Marine, but the evil, spiky version. Uh, they're pretty bad dudes. So they, they, they're in the game as well. We're not talking about how they come about because I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but, okay. but yeah, we're just, we're just crushing orcs but for now. they are not your friends? They certainly are not your friends. Okay. In fact, in, uh, in the multiplayer, um, that, those are the two factions we have. So you can be a Chaos Space Marine mm -hmm. who, have, uh, who have an awesome sort of parody of every Space Marine weapon. They have their own kind of gnarly, grizzled, evil version of what the Space Marines have. That doesn't sound like something I'd want to come across. But uh, all, uh, on the one hand, but on the other hand, it sounds like a pretty good fight. Yeah, it sounds like it, you don't want to come across it, but you might want to be behind that suit of armor, wielding uh, that, yeah. wielding that wicked version of the chain sword. You might not want the blue and gold with the lion head. You might want some spikes, you some want blood some spikes, colors, some blood colors. But hey, we don't draw the line there. If you wanna, if you wanna run around in pink and yellow armor, which is what I do in multiplayer, yep. those options are there. I mean, it's all about the customization, and you can do anything you want. Any look is achievable. Like a rainbow sherbet look? You can do a rainbow sherbet look. Yeah, you can You can have the, the full spectrum going on. So does that make it easier or harder to cosplay as a space marine? I mean, obviously the armor's pretty bulky, but you got some creative leeway there. Yeah, I think so, I think so. You just gotta find ceramite. I think that's the hard part. That's true, that's true. And you know, be able to lift a thousand pounds of but, armor. Hey dude, the internet is a vast trove of information, so you can probably uh, figure it out somehow. So hey, and Warhammer is an immensely popular franchise. And so Space Marine, you've got 
a big old single player campaign, you've got eight on eight competitive multiplayer. Uh, is there any cooperative campaign action here where you team up with a, another space, fellow Space Marine at all? We're, we're not mentioning anything about co-op right now or uh, plans for DLC, but we do definitely intend to keep the brand alive. We're gonna sounds kind of like it. a yes on both there, Daniel. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. you're not mentioning it here. I think, okay. yeah, I think my marketing partners would, would probably want me to say no. But <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so you... Your no is on record. Uh, okay, no is on but record. But you yeah. are something about supporting the brand. We're gonna going keep it. Forward. We're gonna keep it alive. Yeah, it's important to, especially for the fans, to keep supporting uh, with additional material. We're talking about DLC right now. What that means, what people want, and and what we want to bring them. So yeah, in the coming in the coming months leading up to launch, we do intend to certainly start talking more about that. All right. Now speaking of, when is launch, and what systems are you guys launching on? September sixth uh, in the U.S. and that's Xbox three hundred and sixty, PlayStation three and PC simultaneous. Daniel, thank you so much for bringing by Warhammer 40K Space Marine. Thank and September so 6th, that's just around the corner. That's around the corner, you guys. All right, cool. Well, enjoy the rest of Comic-Con. Thank you. Appreciate you guys bringing that by. Absolutely.